is up, everybody, and welcome back to another Madden 23 online game. Today, we have two NFC East rivals doing business. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Washington Commanders. That's a new name. Everybody get used to it. Commanders. These aren't their normal uniforms, though. These are just some alternate unis that I ended up picking out as we get the interception here with Curl. We'll take that. Thank you very much. Oh, watch out. Wentz, the new starting quarterback of the Commanders, the former starting quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles. He could have had a better start to this game. A sack and incompletion. Yeah, but third down and 19 looking for the bounce back. Oh, but instead we find big play slay. And yeah, close your eyes if you're looking for a display of elite quarterback play because it's simply not happening right now. This is an absolute monstrosity, a disgrace to the quarterback position. The way this game is going and continues to play out. Harris breaking a tackle. Oh, he finds a convoy and scores the touchdown. Yikes, that is four interceptions in less than two minutes by both starting quarterbacks combined. And in a slobber knocker of a game like this, the difference can easily be who makes the most of these turnovers. Who potentially gets a pick six or two out of these kind of plays. And right now, advantage Eagles 1-0 as we get the bad snap there with Wentz. Oh my, Fletcher Cox in the interior forcing the bad pass. Wentz always having a miserable start and it continues. Three interceptions. We have barely started this game, man. As we get the sack right there, shout out to Montez Sweat. We need that positive reinforcement, and it's coming from the defense. That's a sack on the nickel blitz. It is third down and 36. Good luck, Jalen. He'll have time. He'll go to Devontae Smith, who got separation at the last second. Oh, but it's incomplete. He didn't get both feet in bounds. That was a really weird play because the defensive back pulled up for literally no reason as if he thought that it would be an illegal touching if Devontae caught that ball. And then Devontae didn't get both feet in. I don't know what in the world that was all about. McCorn with a step. Oh, Carson Wentz is still held to a goose egg. Can we finally get on the board? Oh, not with a read like this. Definitely not with a read like that. Incomplete and thankfully not anything worse. Third down from our own end zone. Here's Wentz. Put him on the board. Erickson. Oh, but he didn't get the first down. It's four down and one, and we might have to run on this front just to move the chains from our own 12-yard line. We'll go for it. We will hand it off, and J.D. McKissick. He'll get us that first. Some breeding room. Hopefully some momentum. Maybe not, because Carson Wentz continues to feel the pressure of Fletcher Cox whenever he's breeding in his airspace. We bomb it downfield for Terry McLaurin and add another interception to the counter. That is four in the first quarter. Now, I must warn you guys, if you couldn't tell already from the the title of this video most likely that we are trying to get the ball to Terry McLaurin. We're trying to get Terry McLaurin his X Factor of Ankle Breaker, which requires five receptions of 20 plus yards so in order to do that we gotta at least give him a chance but right now we don't i don't think we have a completion to mccorn we barely have a completion to anyone on our team besides erickson i don't believe that's not gonna be a first down so fourth down and one about the same spot we went for it except this is in the red zone for the eagles they'll still keep the offense out there they'll stay in the pistol jalen hurts he'll go play action picking up chase young oh but hurts completely crisscross applesauce on that throw and that's easily gonna go incomplete Oh, that's caught by McLaurin right over Darius Slay, who nearly got interception number five on Carson Wentz. Instead, we're suddenly cooking, and Terry McLaurin is our recipe for success. It only took, what, eight attempts to get the ball to Terry McLaurin to make it happen? But, hey, man, scary Terry. He can make plays for sure. We're looking for McLaurin over the top. Oh, he nearly got it, but the safety help was able to dislodge the football. Third down, we're going to sneak in another to run JD McKissick doing damage he's got that four-man front so we should be able to run on that whenever we want to that's an open seam that's a touchdown that's the rookie Jahan Dotson for six well I'm happy we got Dotson involved I'm also a little upset because that was supposed to be Terry McLaurin unfortunately we tried to get the ball to McCorn so much he was tired and sat out that play so Dotson took McCorn's spot and took his touch right there and, you know, the thing is, like, you only get so many of those 20-plus receptions in a game. So to quote-unquote waste one, 
you know, it's like, damn, man. I don't know if we're going to get the opportunity to get McCord in the zone in this game, especially the way we're playing right now. The good news is we are playing some really good defense. And, of course, the Commanders, they're going to have a really solid defense once again this year. Hopefully Chase Young is back in full hell to really be a force. You got Allen, Montez Sweat, Deron Payne in the interior. Ionitis, that's an incompletion as Hurts leads the receiver just a bit too far out of bounds. And a costly mistake by the young quarterback that will force the punt from the Eagles as we do a nice little double juke with Erickson making something shake and get shaken up right there it's always nice to get sticky but you gotta know your limits and I think we overstepped our boundaries oh we overstepped them a whole lot that's intercepted and there's nothing but green grass ahead hold on Carson Wentz to save the day momentarily Five first half interceptions as the Eagles blagging by Wentz. That's a touchdown. Got away from Chase Young. Sold the play action well enough to keep Young occupied with the running back. And Hurts on the run this time to the strong side. Able to connect. And the Eagles with basically two touchdowns off of two turnovers. Right? The pick six. And that was... All but a pick six right there. We gave him the ball at the three-yard line. Once again, otherwise we're playing good defense. We're just playing such bad offense that it's going to cost us a game where we're pitching a shout-out on defense, which is what I said, right? Whoever makes the most of their defensive opportunities can win an ugly ball game like this as we try to get the ball down low. Just trying to get in the field goal range here. Need a quick pop pass with five seconds to go. Instead, Wentz does the exact opposite which is sometimes the way the Carson Wentz experience goes right instead of you know getting that quick pass off I just held it and was like oh let me hit a spin move yeah that's a dumb idea so yeah we completely squandered that opportunity along with all the other opportunities we've had besides that one magical drive where we accidentally did everything right <laughs> as we get it to Antonio Gibson. First mention of Gibson in this game. Haven't really seen him in the action too much because McKissick is the third down back on the depth chart. Speaking of third downs, Logan Thomas for the first down. That's another guy that Washington needs to come back healthy this season because Thomas is definitely a force out there at that tight end position. Quick pass to Curtis Samuel, and he gets rocked to sleep by Nicobe Dean. Third down once more on this drive play. Action by Wentz looking downfield. That's a wide open Curtis Samuel. Oh, he's going to waltz all the way to the 11-yard line. Great pass by Wentz. And, well, that was asking a lot of the rookie Dotson right there as we give it to Gibson on second down. Fletcher Cox is all over the place. He's still a superstar X Factor in Madden, despite only getting a single sack last season. Huge third down in this game. Wentz will try to take off. But unfortunately, Carson Wentz is learning yet, and yet again, he's not that guy. But how about this? Late in the third quarter, we won't go for the field goal. We're going to think about going for this on fourth down instead. Maybe not. In fact, yeah. I ran hurry up, and I was like, you know what? I would rather kick the field goal here because we're playing such good defense. I feel like even if my opponent gets a field goal, I don't think we're going to give up a touchdown. So let's play special teams. Let's play smart for a moment and give ourselves a chance to win this game instead of, you know, going for a fourth down that I don't have full confidence in, especially with the way Fletcher Cox is playing out there. Oh, but it doesn't matter about our defense because our special teams is the issue here. Quez Watkins, he's got burners and he'll go coast to coast on the kick return. That's a kick in the pride right there. And that might be a dagger applied to our soul. <laughs> because I don't know the way we're playing offense in this game that we could put up two touchdowns to take the lead unless we get a pick six. But offense-wise, I don't really know about it. As far as Terry McCord and getting an ankle breaker, I don't really think that's materializing right now as we just dump it down to J.D. McKissick. It's all about survival mode right now for us. Forget about the X Factor for a moment. Let's just try to find a way to win this game. But sometimes the best way to win the game is to get it to your best player. That will do. Scary Terry on the post getting open. Next play, Wentz. Oh, he's just not that guy. He cannot get out of this pocket. Oh, and he's definitely not going to escape that when the right tackle gives up quick pressure to, I believe, Josh Sweat. Third down. We've been decent on third down lately, and the trend will continue. That's what we want to see from Carson Wentz. That's a perfect throw. And Wentz stepping up. Oh, my goodness. The roller coaster ride of Carson Wentz. Oh, my goodness. And the dominant display of Fletcher Cox. Without Brandon Sheriff inside there, we are really struggling to contain. Oh, Fletcher Cox, and that's forcing bad pass after bad pass under pressure by Carson Wentz. Once again, we're going to have to play special teams and settle for the field goal here, but now it's an eight-point game, and we can't even allow a field goal here. we got to play almost perfect defense and make sure Quez Watkins can't return the ball. 
The kick in the butt right there is that should have been a touchdown. We had McLaurin open, and that would have been one for the X-Factor count. And we didn't get any of that because of Fletcher Cox dominating inside and forcing poor passes by Carson Wentz. But... We are playing some good defense here. We have some awkward play calling on offense by these Eagles, and that's going to continue as he fakes the re reverse on third down and 13. Oh, I don't know if he's going to go for this. I don't know if you want to do this. I think he's just trying to milk clock. No, he's going to get the snap off with Jalen Hurts. Fourth down and 11 from his own 24. Miles Sanders gets walloped in traffic. He never stood a chance. Instead, here we are trying to capitalize. Remember, it's a one possession game. Touchdown, two point conversion is needed for us to tie this ball game. But we need to get more than four yards out here. Logan Thomas doing decent, but a huge third down on this drive. Wentz under pressure, got it to Curtis Samuel. That's a touchdown. Carson Wentz under the pressure, under the gun, delivers a dime. And now here we go, the biggest play of the game with a minute 55 left in regulation. We're gonna run it, we got it. J.D. McKissick, as once more we take advantage of that four man front by the Philadelphia Eagles. We're all knotted up in this ball game. But now it's up to our defense. We just need one stand. At least get us the OT against Jalen Hurts and the Eagles as we send the blitz. And damn, Jalen Hurts, he diagnosed it pretty well right there. We might be in trouble if he goes no huddle, which is what he's doing. So we're going to have to switch the defense up here with 90 seconds to go in regulation. Jalen Hurts, he'll have the time. Waits, creates. Oh, that's a pop fly. It's intercepted by Dallas Goddard. That was a straight up butterfly right there i mean wow that was such a gimme and we didn't get it and he got it instead as the eagles are in midfield but that's gonna take him backward montez sweat what a play sweat's really dominating out there second down to 15 blitz is in and that's incomplete that'll stop the clock third down and long chase young got the hit here we go only a three-man rush hurts will sit he'll stand pretty and now he'll run that won't be a first down but what's the decision here field goal is not really on the table it's 62 yards away going for it on fourth down is most likely what's gonna happen and here we go eagles on the field with 42 seconds left jalen hurts with the ball in his hands looking with time oh but time is up down he goes chase young and jonathan allen in the backfield and look at the field position we've gotten as wentz taking off and wentz finally able to escape the pocket carson wentz is coming up so clutch for us right now as we are in field goal range taking some time that town this one with just 13 seconds to go gotta throw that one away once again that interior pressure man I mean, no Brandon Sheriff is really costing us. Third down and two here. Gotta be careful. Wentz under pressure. Oh, and it's picked off by Avante Maddox. Oh, man. Instead of lining up for the game-winning field goal, we're back on defense here. Jalen Hurts. Gotta do something. Time is ticking down. This is the final play. Barring a penalty. Wish there is a penalty. That's incomplete. But what's the flag? What's the flag? A legal forward pass. We're going to overtime regardless of what we choose. I'll just decline the penalty just to be safe. I don't want them getting an untimed down. So we go to OT and the Eagles get the coin toss win. They will receive the ball. So that means this Washington defense, we're going to ask them for one more stop. That might be asking for too much. Remember, this Washington defense is still pretty much pitching a shutout in this game. It's pretty much two pick sixes and a kick return touchdown. So... I mean, we just got to continue doing what we are doing. As far as going into overtime, I'm not really too mad because we still have a chance of getting Terry McLaurin his X Factor, right? We are like one or two receptions away. So, you know, throwing that interception, you know, I'm not too pissed off about it. I wasn't exactly kneeling the ball there to kick a field goal, right? We were still taking random chances. But we might have taken too many chances out here. We might have given this guy one too many opportunities to shine as Quez walking, shimmying around with that Washington turf. So hard to move around here at FedEx Field. Blitz is picked up. Open is Goddard. Look at the move. Goddard, what a run. What a touchdown. What a game winner by Dallas Goddard in the Philadelphia. Philadelphia Eagles, except it's not a game winner. How about this? Since when did Madden Online adopt playoff overtime rules? I, I didn't know this was a thing. I thought the game was over when Goddard scored the touchdown. I dropped my controller. I said my GGs. I was about to walk out the stadium, and then someone tapped me on the back of my shoulder and said, hold on a second. You get a possession, too, even if you give up a touchdown. How about that? How convenient is that? Here we go. It's J.D. McKissick on the run. And really, at this point, like, screw Terry McCorn. 
the competitive spirit in me just wants to find a way to keep this game going. So Curtis Samuel, if you're open down low, you will get the ball. You will get us to the 41. Obviously, we need a touchdown here, and then it's up to us what we do after that. As we go to, now it's Jahan Dotson. After a little bit of lag, we get Dotson. We get the first down as we'll go play action. This will give Wentz the time. He has space to roll out wide open. Terry McLaurin, and that'll get scary. Terry, ankle breaker activated 20 yards away from getting a touchdown but not if Fletcher Cox has anything to say about it make that 26 yards don't worry about the time just worry about how many yards we need and how many downs are left as McLaurin trying to shatter someone's ankles making a move getting a solid gain as we go to first down and goal at the A accidentally skipping a play I believe we just ran it on third down and got it so here we are continuing to run on this four man front taking full advantage J.D. McKissick for the touchdown and now the big decision to make do we go for two to win the game right here right now we are on the field we're out in the spread we're thinking about running this ball I subbed in Antonio Gibson but oh, I don't really feel too confident about this one so you know what we're just gonna take the delay of game and we're gonna kick the PAT and we're gonna trust in our defense that's what we've been doing all game long so let's not jeopardize the game on one play once again that I'm not fully confident in and put it on our defense now our defense did just give up a touchdown right there but Okay, I like our odds. I like our odds. You know what? Let's just ball out. But now, all my opponent needs is a field goal to win the game on this drive, I believe, is what we're doing right now. And once again, don't worry about the clock. We will go to double overtime if necessary. First down, Quez Watkins wrapped up by Chase Young. That's a loss of a yard. Jalen Hurts out the pistol. Going play action. Feet set. Watch out. Pressure in the corner. Devontae Smith. He didn't get it. He didn't get it. Not both feet in balance. It's an incompletion. Third down and long for Hurts and the Eagles as they put a man in motion. They're going to run the ball and get stuffed like a turkey by Jonathan Allen. And on fourth down, the punt. Oh, he hit the punter. No flag. That's absolutely running into the punter. But the refs turn a blind eye and we're going to get the ball at our own 22-yard line. Once again, only a field goal necessary to win the game at this point as we now are in double OT. Play action for Carson Wentz on second down. Wide open in the corner. Curtis Samuel. He's got burners. So that was a touchdown saving tackle by Anthony Harris. As we are pretty much in field goal range. Looking for more off the play action. That's a wide open McLaurin. Can he make a move? There goes Terry. All the way to the one. And you know what? Let's just get a touchdown. Let's try to cap it off in style. Here's Scary Terry on the move for the win in double overtime. An instant classic won by the Washington Commanders on prime time against the rival Eagles. Oh, who said sloppy football games don't produce fantastic results a combined eight interceptions in this one but we still had quite the finish to this ball game now it might have taken so long to finish because both me and my opponent were so incompetent in playing the game but hey man we won the game and it was pretty entertaining you cannot doubt that <laughs> leave a like if you guys enjoyed what you guys saw today subscribe for more Madden 23 gameplays I'm not proud about this game by any means but hey man sometimes when you win a game like this it's like some sort of weird badge of honor so we'll take it man I'll catch you guys next time thank you as always for watching